mother Tell your children not to walk my way Tell your children not to hear my words What they mean Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, bringing you the second section to Interval 7 in my Fear 3 Insane Difficulty video walkthrough. And this is the hardest level of the game, entitled Port. And as soon as you come out of that little, you know, moving escalator thing that carries the luggage, you're going to be attacked by the, the dog things. You'll notice them spawn because they signpost it with the lovely glowing phosphorescent light, or whatever the hell it is. And then they rush you, so use your slow-mo, shoot them in the face, stab them if they get close, and try not to get too overwhelmed, because this is one of those sections where a lot of them will be coming for you, so, you know, just, just be careful, take it slowly, and uh, don't get too many of them behind you like I just did then, because they will do some serious damage in a very small amount of time. And uh, I wouldn't advise using this nail gun on them, but my secondary is a rocket launcher, and if you're wondering why I'm running around with a rocket launcher, it's because I know that there's a boss fight coming up with two phase commandos, and I thought it would be a really, really effective strategy of killing them. Turns out, it isn't, so um, you don't have to get lumbered down with a rocket launcher if you don't want to. I just tried it to see if it would be a really, really cheap way of beating them, and it turned out to not help whatsoever. But <laughs> You've got to learn somehow, that's what I always say. But just keep making your way through, psychic linking, searching for ammo, and um, playing the game you want to play. But uh, I've got the, the Portal 2 guide completely recorded now, thanks to a, a guy called Eggnogger, who was a friend of mine. And um, I'm going to be adding commentary to that next after this, and that should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, I don't know if I'll manage to get it all up before I go to France, but it will soon be. We'll soon see, because I mean, it's pretty close now. Uh, when you come into this area, I don't think there's anything other than the dogs, because that's the, the the creeper who who's been hunting you the entire game. Uh, you're gonna have a lovely showdown with him on the last level, but unfortunately, before then, he's gonna keep popping up, doing the slow motion screen blurring bullshit. And uh, yeah, it's not scary, it's not cool, it's just annoying. And uh, unfortunately, day one disagree with me completely, hence why it's all the way through the game. <laughs> but um. I've got a, a nice mixture of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops commentaries that I'm going to be putting up over the next few days, so it's not just going to be Call of Duty 4 and it's not just going to be Black Ops. Uh, I've also got the second part of the credit feeding that I've just added on, and um, I'm also going to be hopefully doing a couple of new things. I think I'm going to be doing something to do with Left 4 Dead 2, and um, some other little surprises which will be nice to see how they go down because I do like to think I've got one of the more diverse channels on YouTube, although probably everybody thinks that, because we're all, you know, selfish and designed to think that what we do is unique, when really we're just a bunch of generic idiots. But when you come through here and you hear the, the contraction screen from Alma, that means that this bit now, you're going to get the black screen like we've got now, you're going to get veins on it, like them, and yeah, the creeper's going to turn up, and it's a showdown with him, so... Listen out for his footsteps, watch out for those cinders as they dance like fairies in the half-light, and um, make sure you've got enough slow-mo to stop time for when he comes for you so that you can take him out. So there's the veins. So listen, see if we can hear him. You can hear the scary music. Fettle's going on a nice little speech, talking about the atrocity that it is. And I think when you come up these stairs, it has a go at you. There you go, there's its footfalls, there it is, slow motion, and as you can see, you can use your knife if you don't want to waste your gun. Listen out for him, because he does attack more than once, he's coming back. Slow time. Oh, has he run away? He's run away. What a bitch. So just keep walking forward and just listen out for that footfall. There it is, footfalls. He's to my left right now, do you see the cinders? He can't get to me because there's the, the bar in the way. <laughs> and then up stabbing him with the knife. And just, um, just be aware, because if you try and push this section a little bit too quickly, uh, he probably will attack you. Because what happens is, um, sometimes when you do that to him, if you push forward too quickly, he comes for you again instead of running away. And uh, I think he punches me in a minute, because I do exactly what I've just said. So there he is, do you see the cinders? Slow motion, use your knife. Save your arm, he's coming again, I think. Oh no, no he's not. But... 
if anybody's having problems with these sections, once you know what to look for, he becomes incredibly easy, and it's only remotely intimidating when you don't know what's happening. For the first time, I was kind of nervous because um, he does a lot of damage when he hits you, and I couldn't understand what was happening. But uh, as soon as you figure out to look, f listen for the sound of his approach, then look for the, the cinders, uh, it's very simple. Uh, this is it anyhow people, this is the bit I've been talking for, for the last six you know, intervals. This is the hardest part of the game. Uh, this start part is not hard, it's after you do this gunfight. So what will happen is, the smoke comes into this, this terminal area, and there's going to be a lot of enemies. There's going to be a bunch of soldiers, there'll be a few with shotguns, there'll be a few with the normal assault rifles, and I think there's a couple of guys with shields. A couple of guys with shields, sorry, that's better English. And what I like to do is I like to pick them off from a distance using these metal detectors and these partitions as cover and you can just you can flank all the way to the left and all the way to the right to see if you can get a better vantage point and the luxury with these enemies on this encounter is they're not the most aggressive they will only push up when they say so so if you hear the guy you know doing the whole moving forward and all those kind of crazy things that they say that means that they're going to be coming for you but if they don't say anything like that they'll just sit in cover they'll stay back and uh, it's not too bad of an encounter. Where the problem comes is, as soon as you kill all these enemies, uh, you can move forward like I'm doing now. As soon as you push forward here, you're going to hit a tripwire and directly behind you where you came from, a bunch more enemies are going to spawn. And this is where it gets a little bit more tricky because there's the smoke signalling another entry team. Uh, when you kill this next wave of enemies, the two phase commanders are going to spawn so there is no break in between where you can run around and pick up ammo you've just got to kind of balls to the wall get yourself into a position so that you can kill them and just hope that whatever strategy you've gone with is going to be a good one because if you don't the checkpoint is about three seconds before they fall through the roof you'll hear them talking and you've got to act really fast to get into a position and what I do is as you can see I've gone up against this bar at this this crate here because it's fantastic cover. For some reason, you don't even have to hold the analog. You just look perfectly over it, and nobody will shoot you. Nobody will hit you. The only threat in this position is grenades, and if you kill them before they get close, they'll not even have chance to throw grenades. And uh, you're going to see a massive edit as well because once this place is clear, I put my rocket launcher on, and obviously my first few attempts at the face commanders, I got my ass handed to me. And uh, you're going to see the video jump to me holding the double SMGs. And the reason I'm holding the double SMGs is because once I use all my rocket launcher ammo on the face commandos, I run around the room picking up guns and shooting them with anything I can because these guys do not die. For whatever reason, they take the biggest beating ever. And it's coming up right now, so this is it. As soon as it says saving, that's your checkpoint. You'll hear the face commander talk. And if you look up on the ceiling, there's going to be a blue light. And two of them will fall directly in front of where I am now. One will fall first, then the second one will fall. And then the fight is starting. So here we are. So there's the first guy. I go into my slow-mo. I throw my grenade at him. His buddy's next to him, but be careful because the splash on the grenades is pretty bad. And they will detonate on impact. I then throw a stun grenade in. He comes round to my right. I hit him with the shotgun with all I've got because... Uh, this is probably the weapon you want to make sure you've got when you get to this part. Uh, you'll notice I've been carrying this rocket launcher to try and use it to win really quickly, and it doesn't work, it doesn't pay me any dividends. It's almost um, a pointless weapon for some reason. I thought it would be super effective, and it just doesn't seem to be. So I've come in this room, I throw the stun grenade, it stuns them both. I'm using this corner, but be careful because they can come into this room... Uh, behind me if they teleport you've got to be super careful of that and right there I nearly kill myself with the rocket launcher and you can see he's trying to get in the room but I'm stood up against this side and he's in now and I need to move if you don't move when they're in with you he'll just do that where he can follow you with his foot that's the guy coming in as well through the teleporter thank god I regenerated fast enough then before the second dude turned up and now I'm in a world of trouble but I know there's cover over here so I rush in here I regenerate my life I'm using slow-mo to make sure that they can't follow me as quick as I can move I then throw another stun grenade out so that I can get my shotgun back on. I end up swapping the shotgun for this assault rifle just to pepper some shots into that guy. He looks like he's dying. Uh, that guy's just teleported behind me. I'm in real big trouble here, but I use the slow-mo to get out. I run through the other guy. He's still shooting me. Goodness me, that was lucky. I throw a stun just there. He's coming in through the other way, so I run out. It's, it's like, look at this shit, man. It's like bloody playing chicken. 
I'm just getting chased everywhere by these psychos, and the rocket launcher is just not the gun I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be a win button, and it really isn't, and you'll see I'm having a lot more trouble than I probably should be, but I throw that grenade at him, I use the slow-mo, I throw another grenade because I picked them up when I was in those rooms, I keep shooting the rocket, I'm peppering him with everything I've got, he's now stunned by those electricity grenades, which are really useful, he's blinking red a little bit, another rocket... I'm using my slow-mo when I run out so that he doesn't kill me before I can get to cover. I use these partitions as cover. He's teleporting, so he's probably going to go behind me. I swap the gun out for this assault rifle. It's only got 15 rounds, but every round helps. I should have probably tried to, to net a shotgun because the shotgun seems to be the most powerful gun against these guys. He's just beat me to the spawn again because they're a pain in the ass like that. I shoot in point-blank range with these guns, but I'm about to die, so I have to run away, reload them. My regen kicks in again, thankfully. I'm waiting for him to spawn. I don't know if it's to my left or to my right. Just waiting on him, just waiting on him. My, my, my slow-mo is regenerating. I've got another stun grenade just in case. He gets a shot off on me then. I slow-mo, shoot him in the face as best I can. Use the cover to reload. Did he? Oh no, he threw a flashbang. He didn't die. Oh, he did die. And there we go. That's both of them dead. That's that section done. And... Oh yeah, it ain't easy that, that is the hardest encounter of the game, so if you're having trouble with it, don't worry, it's one of those where the only reason I was running around like a psycho is because I died maybe five or six times, and I'd got to that point where I was so confident in fighting them that I didn't give a fuck, and if you get to that point, you generally become so lethal, you're going to get past it regardless. But what you want to do now is, uh, I would recommend getting as much shotgun ammo as you can, because you're about to come up against one of the most bullshit sections of the game. And I actually try a strategy out here. I pick the shield up and it works. And don't ask me how it works. It just does. Because what's going to happen is you're going to press a button. A corrugated steel fence is going to raise quite slowly. And then you have to go in the room and press the button on the other side to shut the fence. While this is happening, you're going to get those dogs infinitely spawning. Or so it seems. They spawn for days. And... You'll have maybe three or four of them on you at the same time, and these things can kill you in seconds. And for some reason, this just seems completely unbalanced, this section. Uh, and on fearless difficulty, I must have died 20 times here before I did it, and I honestly did not know I was going to do it on insane. I was fearing this section. And on a whim, I picked the shield up, and it just works for me. So, this is it. You press this button, as soon as you press it, they're going to spawn directly behind you. You'll notice I stand over here in this corner with my shield directly forward because these enemies can only jump at you on, on a lateral uh, direction. They can only jump like straight forward on angles. They can't swerve in midair. It's all on a very strict line. So I put my shield up, I shoot them. As soon as I get a second, I try and crouch under there. It doesn't work. So I'm backing up to get into the room, there's tons of them in my face, I'm just hoping that the shield protects me, and right now I get super lucky because they all get stuck for some reason because they can't move, I'm trying to shut the door, it's not working, they're kind of lagging out and glitching because they don't know where I am or what I'm doing, the shield protects me there again, there's three of them on me, I'm like how the hell am I not dead, how the hell am I not dead, I just keep shooting, keep the shield up, keep shooting, they're falling down, I regen, thank god I'm shooting again, and it's like as soon as you get a gap, you need to press the door, so I drop the shield now because I'm in the room, I've got a shotgun with a lot of ammo, I start dealing some death, and then as soon as these guys are dead, I run across to the button, I press it, and now you've just got to survive while that door goes down. And this is when it slightly gets a little bit easier, but they can still kill you in seconds. You need to be super careful. Shotgun to the face in slow motion whenever you can. Keep moving left and right. Do not get backed into corners. Throw anything you've got, because this is the last challenging part of the game. If you've done this, you've beat the game pretty much, and you'll get your 100G when you do Act 7, or Interval 7, sorry. And there we go. That is the second hardest part of the game. Done the first time, very simply, and that can be terrifying, so be careful on that section. It is bullshit, it's unbalanced, it's broken, but I did it first time on my recording run, so hopefully you will have the same look I did. And for the rest of this video, it's just going to be me tearing it up with a few more enemies, then you go outside, you get in a mech, and that's pretty much the end of the level, so yeah, another level down, really. And there doesn't seem to be too much to find on this section, because I do look around hoping to find secrets or stuff, but it just seems to be purely cinematic. It's just a lovely destructible room so that Alma can scream and we can have a little bit more exposition about how she's closer to giving birth and blah blah fucking blah.
but make your way through this maze of chairs and debris and then you can go through here and when you open this door this is the one that's going to to lead outside there you go and if you run straight away over here and grab this armor you will have absolutely no opposition outside even though there's two phase commanders this thing will spray them just spray them like a dog getting hit by a train it's just there's no competition at all this thing is just too powerful and for whatever reason if this thing gets blown up I don't even know if these suits can be you know completely killed because I've never died and that's how challenging these sections are but there is a second one just in case uh, just past this one the only real tip you need to know in this thing is don't overheat your gun because when you overheat it it takes a hell of a lot longer to cool down than it does if you just wait for it to get really full and then stop firing and as you move forward behind that white truck in front of me there's going to be two phase commanders you can run in this machine uh, they're going to turn up obviously there's a bit of cinematic slowdown there oh sorry uh, the robot turns up first so this guy is uh, an advanced armor suit you are not the advanced armor suit so on paper statistically he is a better machine than you but he doesn't know how to be cheesy so if you use these crates and you keep the crates in between you and him you can pop out and shoot him As soon as you start overheating you can continue to strafe around these crates don't get stuck like I do right there because you're probably going to get in trouble but um, just keep being cheesy keep putting the crates between you and him and pop out and shoot him when you can uh, don't shoot him when he's got his force field on because you won't do any damage and it's just a waste of ammo even though you're not got ammo it's just one of those things where there's no point just wait for him to to lower his shield and then hit him again and then just keep using this cargo crate and this is absolutely easy compared to that bloody dance of death we just had with those face commanders just keep strafing around be careful of the collision detection with the boxes because you don't want to get stuck because even though he is a stupid robot and he keeps following you around this thing even though he can't catch you he will kill you very quick if you let him but there you go he's just blown up and then two phase commanders turn up and watch how quickly this thing destroys them they're just no match for it and I overheat my gun there that's a bit sloppy but look at this there's nothing they can do I even try and melee them that's how confident I am that they're pussies when you're in a machine but the first one dies his buddy's about to die there he goes he's swelling up he's getting all there you go he's just burst and then you cruise over here towards that cage with that dude in it from fear 2 and that's the end of the level people so I hope that helped that is the hardest level in the game so congratulations the next one is a piece of piss thanks for watching and you take care now